I make a request. Please like my videos and share with your friends and subscribe my channel if you have not already subscribed. Thank you. We discuss three questions that have appeared in the TS set 2023 October examination from the chapter complex analysis. The question numbers are 71, 72 and 73. These questions are suitable for the aspirants of JL, DL, AP set and CSIR net also. We now discuss question number 71. The question ID is this one. The given question is if f of z is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity 2n z power 2n is a Maclaurin series of fz valid in mod z less than 1 then the number of poles of fz in mod z less than 2 is we are given four options. So you are given fz as a Maclaurin series of series of fz valid in mod z less than 1 and you are asked to find the number of poles of fz in mod z less than 2. The expansion, Maclaurin's expansion is given in mod z less than 1 but you are asked to find the number of poles of fz in mod z less than 2. Let us now discuss the solution of the problem in detail. We have fz given as a Maclaurin's expansion of fz in mod z less than 1. And the expansion is sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity 2n into z to the power of 2n. Expand it. Let us see how the expansion goes. n is equal to 0. It will not give you anything. And n is equal to 1. It will give you 2z square. n is equal to 2. 2 into 2. 4 z power 4 plus 6 z power 6 plus so on so forth valid in mod z less than 1. Let us now take uh, the common factor. 2 z square is common throughout. So 2 z square in bracket multiplied by in brackets 1 plus 2 z square plus 3 z to the power of 4 plus so on so forth. And this expansion is a, a is a known to us known to us and it is a the expansion of 1 by 1 minus z square this is 1 by 1 minus z square to the power of minus 2 this is 1 by 1 by 1 by 1 minus z square whole square is the is the expansion for this and this is valid in mod z less than 1. So that is thus we got now 2 z square by 1 minus z square whole square. So now we want to discuss the number of poles of this function of z in mod z less than 2. Now observe that this function f of z that is 2z square by 1 minus z square whole square is analytic everywhere except at 1 minus z square is equal to 0 that is z is equal to plus or minus 1. These are the poles of order 2. So right now number of poles the, how many number of poles will be there uh, two poles. Are they inside mod z is equal to 2? Yes, 1. So if you take the modulus of this, mod z will be 1, which is less than 2. They lie in mod z less than 2. Now the poles of fz 
in mod z less than 2 r plus or minus 1. Therefore, the number of poles of Fz in mod z less than 2 is 2. Where is the answer? The answer is appearing against option 2. Therefore, the answer to this question is option 2. That is the detailed discussion of the solution of this problem. This problem is definitely an easy problem provided if you re if you realize that this expansion 1 plus 2z square plus 3z to the power of 4 plus so on and so forth as 1 by 1 minus z square whole square. If you realize that one then it will be a pretty easy question. Right. Let us now move to the next question. Question number 72 with the given question ID shown here. Right. The given question is if C is the circle Z is equal to 2 e to the power of i t where t belongs to the closed interval 0 to 2 pi then the integral taken round C of sin square of 1 by Z minus 1 dz is equal to we are given four options. Right. So, we have C given by Z is equal to 2 e to the power of i t. As t varies in the closed interval 0 to 2 pi, it describes a circle. It describes a circle with center 0 and a radius 2. So, C is mod Z is equal to mod of 2 e to the power of i t. I t. That is mod 2 is 2 into mod of e to the power of i t is 1. That is e to the power of i t is mod of cos t plus i sin t that is under the square root of cos square t plus sin square t that is 1. So, it is a circle with the center at the origin and the radius 2. Agreed. Agreed. So, here this is your argan plane and that is your circle C mod z is equal to 2, it is a circle with center at 0 and radius is 2. And uh, 1 by z minus 1 is appearing, therefore we talk about z is equal to 1. So note that z is equal to 1 lies inside C. So z is equal to 1 lies inside C. So now let fz will be sin square of 1 by z minus 1. And uh, Fz is analytic everywhere except at Z is equal to 1. That is equal to 1. Now Fz is equal to sin square of 1 by Z minus 1. So if this is a sin square. So sin square theta is 1 by 2 of 1 minus cos 2 theta. So, 1 by 2 into 1 minus cos of 2 by z minus 1. Now, what are we trying? Because this is an integral taken round C, sin square of 1 by z minus 1 dz will be equal to, will be equal to by the Cauchy's residue theorem, 2 pi i into some of the residues. But, uh, but this function has only one Singularity that is that is equal to 1 which lies it. Therefore, it is 2 pi i into residue of this function at z is equal to 1. How do I find the residue? So, use the formula if you want, but in this case, it is a by looking at the expansion, Lorentz expansion. So, we take 1 by 2 into 1 minus cos. 2 theta, 2 by z minus 1. That is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into cos of 2 by z minus 1 expansion. The expansion is 1 minus 1 by 2 factorial into 2 by z minus 1 whole square plus 1 by 4 factorial into 2 by z minus 1 whole to the power of 4 minus so on so forth. So, let us call this as the expansion 1. Agreed. Agreed. This is the Lorentz expansion of Fz about z is equal to 1. Right. It contains, uh, uh, you know, the principal part contains infinitely many negative powers of z minus 1. 
the principal part contains infinitely many terms which are the negative powers of z minus 1 therefore if you are if your lorentz expansion has a has a you know principal part and the principal part contains infinitely many terms at then z is equal to 1 will be an essential singularity therefore z is equal to 1 is an essential singularity of fz so when you when you get the essential singularity yes you can find the residue of uh, uh, residue of this function at z is equal to 1 because uh, because it has a lorentz expansion so get into the lorentz expansion find out what is the coefficient of 1 by z minus 1 1 by z minus the coefficient of 1 by z 1 by z minus 1 in the Lorentz expansion will be the residue of the function of z at z is equal to 1. Right. Notice that in this uh, expansion, do you find 1 by z minus the coefficient of 1 by z minus 1? No. There is no term containing 1 by z minus 1 in this expansion. Therefore, residue is 0. So now the integral taken round c sine square of 1 by z minus 1 dz is equal to 2 pi i into residue of the function of z at z is equal to 1 using Cauchy's residue theorem. Now that is equal to 2 pi i into how do I find the residue? The, you go to the Lorentz expansion, find out uh, what is the coefficient of 1 by z minus 1 in 1. So we have already noted that uh, there is no term. Therefore, the coefficient is 0. Therefore, 2 pi i into 0 that is equal to 0. Therefore, the integral taken around c sine square of 1 by z minus 1 dz is 0. So, let us look at the options. 0 appears against option 1. So, therefore, the answer to this question is option 1. That is the detailed discussion of the solution of this problem. Right. Let us now move to the next question. This will be the question 73 with the given question ID. Question ID is given here. Now the given question is consider the function f of z given as the power series sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity a n z to the power of n where a naught is 1, a1 is minus 1 and you are given a recurrence relation uh, 3 a n plus 4 a n minus 1 minus a n minus minus a suffix n minus 2 is equal to 0 where n will vary from 2 to infinity 2 3 so on so forth now if capital Z denotes the number of zeros of fz and capital P denotes the number of poles of Fz, then you are asked to find what is the value of capital Z minus P, the number of zeros minus number of poles of this function. Right. You, you are given a function which is a, a power series and uh, the A0 is 1, A1 is minus 1 and we are given a recurrence relation valid from n is equal to 2 to infinity. Let us now discuss the solution of the problem in detail. We have f of z is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity a n z power n where a naught is 1, a 1 is minus 1 and you are given a recurrence relation. 3 a n plus 4 a n minus 1 minus a n minus 2 is equal to 0 and uh, n is equal to 2, 3, 4 etc. Now what, what I will do is multiply throughout by z power n and take the sigma n is equal to 2 to infinity. Multiply this 1 by z power n and take the summation that is sigma from n is equal to 2 to infinity. So that will be 3 times sigma n is equal to 2 to infinity of a n z power n plus 4 times sigma n is equal to 2 to infinity a n minus 1 into z power n because you are multiplying throughout by z power n minus sigma n is equal to 2 to infinity a n minus 2 multiplied by z to the power of n is equal to 0. Let us now expand see what happens. So 3 times a2 
n is equal to 2 means a2 z square plus a3 z cube plus a4 z power 4 plus so on so forth plus plus 4 times n is equal to a n minus 1 means a1 z square plus a2 z cube plus so on so forth minus n is equal to 2 means a 2 minus 2 0 a naught z square plus a1 z cube plus so on so forth agree if you see carefully this a2 z square plus a3 z cube plus so on so forth is f of z minus the first two terms that is a minus a naught minus a1 z so 3 times f of z minus a naught minus a1 z plus in the, in the second term take z common 4 z into a1 z plus a2 z square plus so on so forth and uh, in the third one you take uh, minus z square common that is a naught plus a1 z plus so on so forth in the second one a1 z plus a2 z square is f of z minus a naught is the expansion whole expansion without the first term so that will be 3 times f of z minus a naught minus a1 z plus 4 z multiplied by f of z minus a naught minus z square into f of z agreed agreed now collect the terms of f of z the coefficients are 3 plus 4 z minus z square into f of z now 3 a naught take to the neck take to the right hand side plus 3 a 1 z plus 4 a naught z that is 3 a naught plus 3 a 1 plus 4 a naught in brackets multiplied by z. Now put the value of a naught. a naught is 1. a 1 is minus 1. Substitute here. So then you will get and simplify you will get 3 plus z. Thus you get f of z as 3 plus z by 3 plus 4 z minus z square. How this is looking like? The numerator is a polynomial of degree 1 p of z. The denominator is a polynomial of degree 2. And observe that there is no common factor. There is no common factor. Right. Now if you want the zeros of f z equate the numerator is equal to 0 that is p of z is equal to 0 it's a degree polynomial degree 1 therefore there will be 1 0 and the number of the, the poles are given by the zeros of the denominator that is q of z is equal to 0 q of z is a polynomial of degree 2 therefore it will give rise to two values for that therefore the number of poles will be 2 right so z will be 1 and capital P, the number of poles will be 2. So, Z minus P will be minus 1. So, the minus 1 appears against option 2. So, that's your answer. Right. The zeros of Fz are given by P of Z is equal to 0. P of Z is a polynomial of degree 1. Therefore, you will get the number of zeros as 1. The poles of given by Q of Z is equal to 0. Q of z is a polynomial of degree 2. Therefore, it will give rise to 2 poles in the argon plane. So, capital Z, the number of zeros will be 1. And capital P, the number of poles is 2. Therefore, Z minus P, that is what is required for us, that is equal to 1 minus 2, that is equal to minus 1. So, the answer to this question is option that is the detailed discussion of this problem. In this video, we have, we have discussed three questions. Question number 71, 72, 73 from the chapter complex analysis that have appeared in the TS set 2023 October examination. Right. I am sure that you have understood the solutions of these three problems. So here I make an appeal to all my viewers. If you like my videos, please 
like the video in the channel and share with your friends. Please subscribe if you have not already subscribed. I wish you all the best. Thank you.